We need to find the IP address on the printer first and make sure the software or the driver is installed on the device we want to map to. I will also show you where you can locate that IP address on the printer itself. But before we begin, if this video helps, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and click the notification for my upcoming videos. So before we begin, you need to locate the IP address on the printer itself. Um, to do that, go to the printer and look at the menu screen, click on the home. We're going to look for, depending on your printer, your MFP, uh, look for something that says wireless setup wizard or something of that sort. Then when you go into there, look at the wireless detail. It should give you an IP address. Um, it usually begin with a 10 dot something. Once you have that, we can begin. As you can see, this is my um, Mac uh, desktop. Um, what you're going to do here, once you locate the IP address, we'll continue to map the printer. Um, on the top left of the Apple, choose System and Preferences. Click on Printers and Scanners. Right here, you can see I have already installed the driver, but for this tutorial purpose, I'm going to go ahead and delete it. And then we're going to try to map it. Now, to map it, all you do is click the Add or the Plus sign right there. And then from here on the second type uh, tab, click IP address, type in the IP address. Now what it's going to do is trying to see if you have the driver installed on this um, computer. Now if it does, it's going to give you the name of that driver and the specific printer it is. All you do is just choose it and then where the name boxes, you can always change the name because right now it has the IP address as the name, but you can always um, rename it. But in this purpose, let's say you don't have the driver, what you're going to do is just go ahead and close out of that. You can open a browser, uh, any browser, either Chrome or Safari, and then you can go ahead and type in the IP address. Now, what this does is in the, within the network, it will locate that printer once it locates the printer it gives you the printer name all you do is just copy that whole name down in this case is a 400 color M451 you copied it where the URL is you can actually just paste it there and then add the space download driver driver download it will give you the link for HP, H, HP LaserJet click on it and what you're going to do here is go ahead and go down to where it says driver what you want to do is look for the one that says basic but in this case it's kind of a wizard software so choose that download it wait until it finished downloading as you see the bottom left um, it takes a uh, depending on your internet connection uh, speed uh, it'll be pretty quick so click on it once it's done it's going to open the wizard. It's going to help you uh, install the driver step by step. Um, as you can see in the download, there it is. Double click on it and then open. Here, uh, you got to check that little box for the terms and agreement. Uh, in most cases, all of them has it. Click continue and then continue again. I mean, it's telling you to make sure the printer is connected. So up on the top right there's a uh, magnifying glass um, click on it what you can do is for that is searching for the printer itself but normally in network uh, it won't find it unless you type in the IP address itself now go ahead and type in that IP address and go choose the search with IP address it'll bring up that printer through the network and then all you do is click continue um, continue again Okay, um, click on the essential software checkbox to install and then click install. Now if your computer has a network password for that, go ahead type it in and then it's going to start 
downloading and installing the uh, driver onto your computer or your Mac. Now it's going to take a little bit, but I'll go ahead and uh, move forward, um, wait until it's done, and then we'll proceed from there. The driver looks like it's installed successfully now. I'm going to go ahead and click continue. From there, you can click the add device and then wait until it finds the device. Um, from here, it looks like it's in finished installing. Successfully click continue. You can do a test uh, print if you want to, but for this case, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to close that out. Now, there's a couple of, of uh, windows that comes up for you to register your printer. Just go, go ahead and close it out. Now, we'll go back to the Apple icon and go to system preference. In here, click the uh, printer scanner again, and you can see that your printer has been mapped, but the name is is the name of the IP. You can go into the settings, and under the name, go ahead and change the name. In this case, uh, for purposes of training, I'm going to call it Network Printer. Uh, once you have done that, now it's been installed successfully, and you can now um, print to your network printer. Um, if you have any um, question or comment please go ahead and leave it uh, down below for me um, thank you again and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click the notification for my next coming video